welcome to tonight's video recap. We hope you enjoy everything that we're bringing to you tonight. So we're here with Billy Raymont who represented Australia at the World Equestrian Games in September and did a fantastic job. We're all very proud of, of how Billy and Oaks Redwood went. Um, so we're just here to ask how your horses are going down at the Australian Show Jumping Championships today. Yeah, for sure. I'm happy enough with them. Um, I've only been back a, a few weeks, so they, they haven't done a lot of work yet. But, um, you know, they've all jumped really well. Unfortunately, I just missed out on qualifying for the senior title with Anton, but uh, he's, he's jumped really great and uh, all the young ones have been fantastic as well. You have a fantastic effort when you've only been back in the country for such a short amount of time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, they had sort of a little bit of fitness before I got back, but we really haven't had a lot of time to train. Um, they, they, yeah, they're fit enough, but, but um, for an event like this, a little more time to train is ideal. But, you know, no complaints. We're really happy. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to have been able to get back in time and be able to be here because obviously it's a fantastic event. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to get back and... You know, support some of our sponsors also that have supported me while I've been away all year and uh, it's just good to be back to normal a little bit. Yep and obviously one of the main things getting to these events is, is having your horses fit and sound and in tip-top shape so how, how do you go about that? Yeah for sure um, you know we have a, a, a lot of fundamentals that we use um, obviously our feed is important so uh, through Prides we have a you know a really great range of feed that supports all the different horses um, you know, which is fantastic, and and um, you know, I use Foresight as well, and Dynavide, and um, use an Equisage, which I think this week's been really important with them. You know, like I said, they're fit, but they're they're probably not so jump fit. So um, having the Equisage this week has been going flat out. So that's also been fantastic, and and uh, yeah, just everybody behind us also as well. Yep. No worries. Well, thanks very much for your time, Billy, and best of luck for the rest of the competition. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, look, it's beyond my wildest expectations to win this class. Like, it's what we all strive for and what we work long, hard days for. And I'm just really lucky that today was my day and my horse was amazing. Um, there's a few people I'd like to thank. The obvious ones, the sponsors and the supporters and the committee members and everybody that puts on this show. All the hard work that goes into it is extraordinary. And we're really lucky that people are willing to put it in the hard yards and dedicate their time and things to support our sport. And without them, all of this wouldn't be possible. So thanks so much to Bonio Park and the show sponsors and everyone involved. I'd like to just put one more thing out there, which is to thank my owners, obviously, of my horse, the Douglas family. They've been great supporters, and without them, this wouldn't be possible. But I'd also like to mention um, a little bit of an interesting note, which is that this horse that I'm riding is actually a, a homebred. There was, the vision for him began probably 15 years ago or so, when Charles Blinkworth and George Santa went to Europe and bought a stallion and a mare and decided to breed a few horses. And the horses that they've bred have been pretty exceptional. For instance, this horse's full sister was the Australian junior champion this morning. So that's two for two from that mare and stallion. And um, last year and the year before, so that's 2016, 2017, their full brother, Fernhill Zinzan, was also Australian Young Rider Champion. So it's been a, um, a pretty amazing dream and vision that was realised. And again, without the support of people like George and Charles, kids like me wouldn't get a chance to ride horses like this. So thanks to everyone out there that's breeding horses and doing things to make the sport a little deeper and a little better for kids that just, you know, have a dream and work hard and want to make the best of everything. So I just want to put it out there for all of the guys like Mark Fraser from Talara Warmbloods, who's kindly sponsored a, a foal for this class and hopefully he will be an Australian champion in the future. It's people like you, Alice Cameron, Yolambi, those guys that, Diamond B, they, you know, they make the difference and um, we're really lucky to have you guys do that. So thanks so much. Oh, I also should mention Horsepower Feeds. Stephen Lamb will kill me. They're my sponsor. <laughs> Fueled by Horsepower.
Comes to last. <sighs> Gee, Amber. Time allowed on the course, 72 seconds. You came home 72.48. One time penalty. So that means Amber is on top of the leaderboard with the score of two. So we're here with Maddie Cinderberry, who's currently leading the Young Rider and Junior Championships at this stage in the competition. Uh, Maddie's had a very busy lead up to the Australian Championships this year. Maddie, would you like to tell us a little bit about your last couple of months? Yeah, so I went to Argentina for a couple of weeks to the Youth Olympics and I had a great time over there. And then I came back and the next day I started my HSE exams and so I had exams on for two weeks and then after my last exam the next day I came straight down here um, to start prepping for Champs. So I had one day warm up at the Bonio Cup and then straight into Champs this week. <laughs> yeah, so a very, very busy time. You've got three horses down here this weekend. Would you like to tell us a little bit about them? Yep, so I've got um, a young grey one, he's six, um, BL Deja Vu, and he's going really well in the juniors at the moment, um, it's a good step up for him. Um, I've got JT Valentina, a little bay mare, um, she's currently leading the junior championships, she's a really smart, quick little horse and she's been going really well. And I've got Oaks Cosmo, um, Chestnut Gelding, who I've been jumping some bigger stuff on and he's currently leading the young rider. <laughs> Yep, amazing. And keeping all these horses sound and fit in the lead up to a competition, how do you go about that? Um, so I've been using Interpath inter Foresight. Um, I started, I heard about it um, about a year ago now and I thought, oh, well, I'll just give it a try. And I had Oaks Cosmo on it for about a week and I was training at home and he just felt amazing. He was like just travelling so freely and he was jumping the jumps and really loosening up in his back end. He just felt amazing. I went, oh wow, like this product really works. So um, I've got them all on it now and it's really, really easy to use. I just give them a little um, bit of sort of jelly paste in a um, syringe each night that they actually really like. Um, so it's really good because I give it to them every day so it's sort of a constant um, rebuild for their joints and um, it's really good preventative for the young horses. Um, just make sure any de little damage is repaired and um, with the older horses it really really helps repair and Cosmo's just been jumping amazing ever since he's been on it. He just feels great. Yeah, great to hear and it certainly looks like they're going well down here this weekend. Um, so thanks very much Maddie for your time and best of luck with the final tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Last horse and rider in this the Horizon Show Jumped Junior Championship round number one, the final. This is Madeline Sindelbury. She's riding JT Valentino, Valentina and they have a score of zero coming into this round. With nothing to add for uh, KT Valentina and Madeline Sindelbury, they will stay on a score of zero. Congratulations, and another very pressure ride, and you seem to handle the pressure well, and what a super pony. Yeah, Aquara has been in great form these past couple of months. Um, it's been huge for us, our first, a couple of first World Cup starts, and he's just been jumping so, so well. Um,
but yeah, no, his performances have been great, but I couldn't have done it with um, all, all the help around me. Um, Beck and Stu, they've been great. And Amy McMore, she's been a great groom this show. Um, but yeah, well done to all the other competitors. It was a fantastic class and really great ride, Maddie. Um, yeah, congratulations. And this is a fantastic show. I'm really, really excited to see uh, what its future holds. Well, I think you've got a very big future ahead if you keep riding like that and having horsepower like that. You're going to go a long way to the top. And uh, Quiro Quiro is... Uh, And Aaron Basil with Quiro Quiro, just the four f penalties being carried through to this round. Over the last set time, 60.97, nothing to add. So Quiro Quiro will come home on the four penalties. Puts her on top of the leaderboard. Next to go, we've got Reese Stones, and Reese is the second last horse and rider. This is Talara Colmar. To win the class, he must jump clean and go faster than 42.28. Time set by Alison Rowland and Oaks Visionary. Amanda Madigan with Diamond B. Vivian, their clean round of 45.80 coming into second. Crowds cheering him on, the last to go and he leaves it up. Time of 41.89. We do have a new leader and congratulations. Reese Stone, Talara, Colmer. Looks like you may be going home in a new Sam Williams equestrian truck. Well done to you, Reese. What a super round. A very lovely horse. And looks like a, a horse, a great horse for the future. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Um, no, I love this horse. He's a, a great young stay, and um, we've been working on for quite a few years now. Um, he's just been stepping up and uh, just keeps improving every time we take him out to a show, and it, it's all I can hope for. Um, he just keeps doing his job every time I ask the question, and, um, yeah, there's there's nothing more you want in a horse. But um, most of us... <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, the sponsor of the class, um, Sam Williams Equestrian. Without the sponsors, these shows just don't run. Um, the, the jumping committee down here, Bonio, everybody that puts this show together is fantastic. Um, grounds are fa uh, It's just first time in the facility and it's amazing. I, can't, I couldn't um, have a better word to say about it. Well done. Congratulations.
So I'm here with Jamie Coman who represented Australia at the Sydney Olympics. Uh, Jamie and Sue both have a horse each down here at the Australian Jumping Championships. Jamie, would you like to tell us a little bit about the horses, um, how they've gone and the classes you've been in and how everything's going? Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, my horse is just a young horse. This is one of his first shows and um, he's had a great experience in the metre tens to, and that and jumped very well. Um, great to take young horses to these sort of shows because you get the best course builders, best material to jump and everything. So that was great. My wife's horse, yeah, it just jumped in the Future Stars. Uh, it's coming along very good. We're very excited about it. Uh, she made the jump off but didn't make the, the, the final placings, but we're very, very happy with it. So it's been great. It's been a great three days for us so far and, and yeah, hopefully we, we find more good shows like this. Yep, fantastic. And in terms of getting all your horses fit and sound and healthy, because um, obviously that's the most important thing, getting them to the competition, um, how do you go about that? Oh, well, we've got great sponsors in Foresight and, and they've sort of put us on a really good program to maintain and manage our horses, uh, just their joints and, and everything. It, it's been fantastic and, and we've had great results and our horses are feeling good every time they go out to jump and it's just been amazing. So we can't thank them enough for what they've done. Yep, perfect. And they certainly look like they've been going well today, so that's evident that they're, yeah, doing the right thing. Um, so thanks very much for your time, Jamie, and best of luck for the rest of the competition. No problem. Thank you very much, and thanks for the show here. It's been amazing. Okay. He's travelled all the way from Queensland. This horse, on its day, is very fast. And Clem, as you mentioned, Angus is no stranger to jumping against the clock. Very, very quick rider. And I say this horse is uh, very talented. All horses have their good days and their bad days. I'm sure Clem's praying for a good day. Clem's already got down to fence two in seven strides. Everybody else has done it in eight. And I think his cheer squad, squad should start cheering because this is pretty quick. How tight can he get back here? Inside the tree. There we go. Inside the tree. Now is he going... And six strides down to the Oxa, another inside line to the uh, red vertical. How tight back to the water tray. Whoa. He wouldn't th fit through a gate with a turn that tight. He's also come inside. This is going to be very quick. And all the way to the last, cheer him on because Clem's come inside fence one. He's taken that tight option. He's not going to draw breath. He's going to go hard. He's going to leave him up. <laughs> At a time of 68.7837. There you go. 68.3777. Eventually, I'll get it right. I'm too excited. The adrenaline's pumping. Well done, Clem and Guro. And uh, that has skyrocketed him to the lead by uh, around about seven seconds. Thank you for watching tonight's video recap with Equestrian Life. We'll see you next time.